Hi, I'm Sonia and Children of Empress. This is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force a grand fit might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So don't take it resonates and leave the rest for someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. This is a great day. It is nearly Friday. Hopefully you've had a great week. So let's see what we have. This is a collective reading for... Cancer. Welcome, Cancer. This is a collective reading for Pisces. Welcome, Pisces. So, let's see what we have for you. Looks like it's going to be good. Oh, we have a masculine energy. This is somebody very intelligent. They could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They could have very strong boundaries. And they are very good with their sword. They can cut out whatever is not serving them. This is somebody who's got strong boundaries, very logical, very kind of um, intelligent, like I already said. Oh, someone would like to give you justice. They could be, it could be a court situation where you're actually getting some sort of karmic justice. It could be, could be that you're actually getting some kind of balance. It could be a Libra. You could be also that we have a new cup of love. This is filling your cup and loving yourself. This is some sort of justice. Someone would like to give justice. Looks like that they, they would maybe you they will, would like to offer their cup to you. Maybe you need to fill your cup and love yourself as well. But the challenge here is it is new a passionate new beginning. This is some sort of passionate new beginning. We just had the new uh, a new cup of love and now we have a passionate new beginning. Someone has a lot of passion for you. But it looks like you have a lot of options and this has kind of got them even more passionate about you. But it's also got a little bit of obsession. Maybe someone is becoming obsessed because you have so many options and they actually see you as very attractive. That this is actually kind of getting them in their head about you. They could be a little bit sort of codependent on somebody. Maybe they're getting codependent on you. And they actually feel so much for you but they're not letting on. Maybe this is all going on in their head this is somebody who has so much want energy for you oh they see you as very beautiful you could be a feminine energy you could be actually virgo taurus capricorn you don't have to be but this is somebody who's very beautiful somebody who's actually very abundant and also financially stable maybe you're getting financially stable you could be a female or male and embody, embody this energy Somebody gets tongue-tied about you. It looks like someone has so much passion and they actually, maybe they're becoming addicted to you. Oh dear. Be careful because this is a little bit obsessive. But in a, in a good way, in a good way. Distant past, we have a feminine energy. This is somebody who is actually very loving and caring. Somebody who is actually very kind. Somebody who could be Places gets a Scorpio, somebody very nice. But there was a lot of conflict. You dealt with a lot of conflict, possibly, with this person, or this was you in conflict. But you actually started a new cycle, looks like. There's been a lot of conflict and arguments around you, but also that you're very loving. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is actually a new cycle that's starting, and it's like the wheel's turning in your favour. But the recent past, we have that you're actually very abundant. You're good on your own. You're actually you're actually really abundant. Like this is actually not only about money, but it's also being in the garden and loving nature. This is also taming the beast like you tame that bird in your hand. And also that you're actually getting financially stable. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn, masculine energy. So this is actually that you could be a business owner, you're a boss energy, you're grounded and actually really doing well for yourself. This could be you have your own business. But also a lot of celebrations, good times with friends. This could be some sort of celebrations and letting your hair down. But it also it could be that other people are talking about your success and how well you're doing. They would like to come in and celebrate with you. But your thoughts are, what are your thoughts? You are thinking about some sort of stability, some sort of union coming together. This is reunions and good times. I feel something on my arm. So this is actually, you know, really just celebrations with friends and family and 
having some happy times. So you're thinking about happy times with someone or unions. Union with somebody who's been left in the cold. Somebody feels abandoned. Somebody here is ghosted probably. And I can see this bit of fluff that's floating around. So somebody here feels like they've been left in the cold. Somebody would like a reunion. Coming together, have a union. But also someone's very defensive. Defensive and ready to fend off whatever's coming towards them. Maybe you're thinking about this union with somebody who's left you in the cold and you're actually feeling quite defensive towards them because of the way that they've hurt you, leaving you out. This is the future here. This is divine justice. This is spirit blowing the horn and you're actually getting your rewards coming towards you. This is actually that you're getting good rewards and, you know, others are getting judgment maybe for the way they've treated you. So you're getting your karma and they're also getting the same. But it's like they're actually dealing with what you had to deal with in the past. And also very intuitive. So you're actually knowing that something's going on. You're actually quite intuitive so you can sense what's happening. But also that we have... This is like... You're actually winning. This is like uh, overcoming the battles. Winning the battles and actually getting noticed for what you do. This is actually like... Getting recognition and like actually getting accolades. Really kind of you've won the battles and you're actually getting people cheering you on. Your fears though is you're fearing all these messages coming in. Maybe you're fearing things moving too swiftly. You're feeling like a wounded warrior needing to heal first or something like that. But also that you've got some, you're getting so much, you're getting enough wealth to be able to help others. And also that you've got fears about maybe all the messages coming towards you maybe you got fears about things moving quickly so it's like you've got fears whether you're going to be financially stable or you're going to be balanced enough but other people see you as moving forward this is Kent's energy this is really moving forward here you're cutting out whatever's not serving you this is this counterpart match so other people see you as this person so you're actually wanting to call in your counterpart match it looks like so other people see you as this feminine so this is the person we had at the beginning. So we actually really wanted to call in, call in your actual match. So you're moving forward. You're cutting out what's not serving. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have that in your chart. And also that you're very strong. You've got strong boundaries. You're intelligent. You're clear spoken. But also that you're juggling a lot of different things. You're moving forward. So you might be juggling so many different things. But you're ready to move forward into some sort of new beginning it looks like. You could be getting a new car even. Or going traveling so your hopes are you're hoping for a new cycle this is actually the wheel turning in your favor that you're actually ready to move forward things are coming in for you and you're actually getting you're on top of the wheel and things are actually coming in so also we have happiness and joy this is the home the family the children this is all your dreams coming true but also we have a love offer. You're hoping for a love offer and a new cycle. This could be a friendship or something. Someone coming in with a small offer. Could be something, someone coming in for an, to give an apology. And they would like to have a new cycle with you. You're hoping for somebody to come forward towards you. And offer this peace offering. It could be somebody younger that you're dealing with. But also they could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But also it could even be same sex partnership. But it doesn't have to be, only if it resonates. The outcome here is some sort of painful ending. You can't come back from this ending. This is being stabbed in the back multiple times. This is definitely a painful ending. But also we have a wish fulfillment. So it looks like sometimes things end so you can get your actual true wishes coming true. So this is actually like you're getting your wishes coming true, but something else has to end first. Oh, looks like we have a passionate new beginning. This is what we had at the beginning. There is this passionate new beginning. This is also, there's another ace. We have a lot of aces, so this is really new beginnings. This is a new pathway, new job opportunity. There's somebody who sees, maybe this is your ships coming in. This is actually manifesting. This is manifesting a passionate new beginning with a new job, new pathway. And also it's with some sort of masculine energy who could be an entrepreneur. 
Could be Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Somebody who sees you as um, someone they would like to work with. They would like to offer you a passionate new beginning to work with you. They could be um, somebody who is has their own thing established. They would. They are quite a good, good looking and attractive, and they would like to come in and offer you some sort of new beginning. And also that they are really amazing at attracting everything towards them. It could be that you're actually very attractive yourself and they would like to work with you. Who is this person? A couple more cards. This person is, I think, coming in to work with you. Who is this? Ooh. Something. All right. Okay, so... You need to do some wound, wound warrior healing. You need to do, there's some sort of healing you need to do possibly first before this comes in, before this person is able to come towards you. Maybe there's some past stuff you need to heal. There's some sort of abandonment wounds. Maybe there's somebody that left you out in the past who's coming towards you. There is, maybe there was someone who's like deceptive in the past, lied to you to steal. Be careful of any deception. But also we have two knights coming towards you. This person was possibly you need to heal from somebody who was deceptive and who was actually all about the passion. They were inconsistent and hot and cold, so you have to heal from that first, possibly. This could be that there's somebody coming towards you who has a lot of passion for you, but be careful because this knight is actually really... It could be someone that who's hot and cold and actually can't make up their mind. And also you're moving forward with absolute determination there could be two knights coming towards you they're not kings so be careful you have to be very discerning because we have two knights who are actually not kings who actually there's one impulsive there's one who's actually passionate but actually they are very um inconsistent so there's a lot of cards there of some sort of sneakery and trickery so be very careful with this energy because it looks like you're having to overcome some sort of wounding from the past. And that's when this other person comes towards you for this passionate new beginning. Overcoming this betrayal from the past, it looks like. So very cool. Bye.